Alex Wisebay here at NFL Live Studios, where we are about to take do a take on on Aaron Rodgers on Aaron Rodgers doing. Actually, hold on, can I restart it? Yes. You gotta introduce your people, man. You gotta introduce. Yeah, I'm gonna introduce you to the topics. Yeah. Yep. Just keep going. Okay. All right, go. I'm Alex Wisebay here in the NFL Live studio, and we're about to do our own version of NFL Live. I'm here with Jason. Yep, here I am, Jason White. And? Uh, William Bowden uh, from WSU World Sports Channel. And Packers Nation also, he lives there. But. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, our first topic we're about to get right on to is Will Aaron Rodgers stay? Uh. Let's hear from Will. Oh my All right, goodness. Aaron Rodgers. Okay, so you Pat McAfee. Be, Pat, let me talk. Pat McAfee show. On there, he disproved that his house got cleaned by the Brown County Service, and it isn't up to him that it was the country club. But he tweeted, "Quote unquote, crown him for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's a he's a part owner of the team." Aaron Rodgers wanted out of Green Bay. He wouldn't have tweeted about the Milwaukee Bucks. It's just true. That that doesn't make sense. It makes for, so much sense. Because first of all, okay, Aaron Rodgers could be lying on the Pat McAfee show that he got his house clean or the country club membership, whatever. That he, wasn't the no, no 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 no. He said that that didn't happen. But that didn't happen. He could be lying. Hold about on, that. hold on. Let me let me let me talk. Yeah, all right, it's my it's my turn, Mr. Max Kellerman, to you from first take, but. The uh, Aaron Rodgers will not stay. He doesn't want to be there. Even if he tweeted that the Bucks won, it's just because he's a Bucks fan at the moment. You he's see, a Bucks fan because he's a Packer. Yeah, at the moment. But any athlete could, like for example, in basketball, Dwayne Wade, he invested in the Jazz even though he played for the Miami Heat. You can invest in any team just because there's opportunity. So even if uh, Rogers leaves Green Bay, he's probably going to keep his stock in Milwaukee, in the uh, Milwaukee Bucks if he has some. And he turned down that uh, contract. Actually, actually, that contract offer, I read deeper into the article, and I found out that the Packers gave Aaron Rodgers no guaranteed money. No guaranteed money. What, what, what are your sources? What uh, are your sources? Adam Schefter on Twitter. Hmm. And, and, and. You and, just said it with an article, but then you said Adam Schefter on Twitter. Adam Schefter, let me talk, let me talk. So, he turned down the contract offer because no guaranteed money and that the contract wasn't offered yesterday. It said at some point in the off season. I looked deeper and deeper and it was two or three months ago. That so is, that just started negotiating. That is lies because How I saw, am I lying? Because I saw you yesterday. You weren't doing anything. You were just sitting on the couch looking at Aaron Rodgers highlights. That's all you did yesterday. No, no, no. But let me, let me, let me, let's get, let's get, let's get totally real here. Aaron, Aaron is gonna stay in Green Bay. Well, I would like to take a minute to acknowledge our sponsor, State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I would recommend going with the Patrick Price. It's way better than the Rogers. The Rogers right is much better than the Patrick oh Price. If you goodness. have a, if you have a functioning brain, you would go with the Rogers right. If you have brain cells, you would go with the Patrick Prize. It's better. They even come to your house and give you free deliveries, which the Rogers rate don't do. The Rogers rate, and the Rogers rate helps all of the Packers fans out there. With it helps them with cheese head insurance. If someone, if the cheese head starts to get moldy. You have insurance on that with the Rogers. Oh right? my goodness! Okay. It doesn't even let's help get the other fans. Fans. Let's get to the let's next topic. Yeah, okay, so moving right along, we got our next topic here. And will Dak Prescott will he be the same? Let's start with Jason first. Dak Prescott may even be better than he was before. Let me talk before you say anything, because you don't think before you speak. Okay. So Dak Prescott may may be because. Ezekiel Elliott is now back in shape uh, for, for what he's been doing in the offseason. Do not say anything because I see that mouth about to move. He's he, still, he still got weapons like Michael Gallup, Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb. He's going to have a pretty decent offensive line. 
because you saw what happened. The team was literally spiraling down, and they were the laughing stock of not even just football, but of all sports because their leader, Dak Prescott, wasn't there. He kept them in game. He brought them to the playoffs. Sure, maybe he didn't result in the ring, but but what do you expect? He, okay. Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, only season that he actually led his team to the postseason was in 2016. They were the favorites. They were the favorites. What did they do? They crashed out to the Green Bay Packers in the divisional round. And what, did the Green, and, what, and what did the Green Bay Packers do later in that playoffs? Lose. So why are you trying to make it about your Packers? No, 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 no. But my point is, Dak Prescott cannot lead a football team past the divisional round. He can't. He can't lead. He, the Cowboys, with Dak Prescott, will never, never get past the divisional round. So basically you're just saying like he's Tony Romo. That's literally what you're saying. Cause I believe that the Romo got team. to the... No, he didn't get to the conference yet. Exactly. So you basically you're calling Dak Prescott a Tony Romo, which is absolutely false. He's a better... He's a... He's Tony Romo, but he can't... But he's he's Tony that. Romo, but he can't lead, lead a team. Okay. Thank you. So Tony Romo didn't even do that much in the playoffs. So what are you talking about? He led this team. Okay, on the other hand, we'll have to wrap this show up. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm Alex. I'm Jason White. State Farm is there just like a good neighbor. Uh, the Patrick Prize is there to help us with Drake. Drake from State Farm. I am Don William Batten. Proud, uh, I am proudly on the Rogers rate currently. Oh my goodness. Uh, State Farm is there. Uh, Jake from State Farm is legitimately a better Jake from State Farm than Drake from State of Farm. Of course he Drake is. Jake from, Drake from straight State Farm is an overrated hack. But Jake from State Farm is literally from Chicago. He's no. an over Jake from State Farm is an overrated hack. Alright. Okay. Then subscribe to JRO Sports, catch more of us on ESPN Plus. Any of y'all got any more shows or oh, I forgot no. So. Oh no. Bye. 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 Bye.